All right, guys, uh, if you're new to the live, my name is Randall. This is the McClure's. We react, review, we make fun of, we laugh at stuff over here. Link is down in the description if you want to help support the channel. You can always shop McClure's.com if you want to help out that way. Buy something for yourself, buy a gift for somebody else. All kinds of stuff there. Uh, men's, women's, kids, household stuff, pet stuff. Uh, everything's made in America. Shopmcclures.com. Go check it out. The story we're going to get into today is a local story for me. I am in Yuma, Arizona. We had a mass shooting is what they're calling it uh, here over the weekend. And I noticed that this story is making the rounds on Fox and uh, everywhere else. Right wing media is trying to push this as something to do with title 42 ending and you know overall immigration problems that we're having because the border is wide open um not that i want that to be the case but if this would help make the argument that illegal immigration is horrible we would jump all over it unfortunately this local situation from my understanding and everything that i've heard has absolutely zero to do with immigration whatsoever this is a local house party of teenagers, uh, which got out of hand. Apparently a fight turns to guns and um, a couple people died. A bunch of people were shot. I think 30 rounds were fired. Something, uh, something to that effect. But we're going to get into this story and uh, definitely take a look at it. Um, real quick, just something uh, somebody commented on. Um, local media here i'll just read it because you guys can't see it it's on my email um and i don't i'm not even going to put this girl's name out there but she responded to the yuma police department on facebook when they made their post about it and she says when is the info going to come out that the kids including me who helped the people who got shot and cleared the house that take courage and bravery, especially knowing we could have gotten shot just for helping out. And yes, off-duty officers had helped out 10 to 20 minutes later, but literally, me and some other people had helped Andy and Gibson, the two kids who got shot. Y'all are giving the cops all the credit. What about us who helped the best we could until help could arrive? Y'all giving all the cops the credit when they arrived late to the scene and the paramedics took their time to get there as Andy was bleeding out internally. What about when I had to run into the house and apply tourniquets and apply pressure to their wounds? This isn't a joke. This is real life. Anybody who was affected by this, please see a therapist. Don't believe everything you see on the news and social media because you're all going based by that and not about what actually happened. My condolences to any of the families who were affected by this. So I'm not going to share it on the screen or put the girl's name out there for everybody. Um, but it just goes to show you, you can't really, you can't really count on the news to give you the whole story. That's for sure. That's definitely the sh for sure. All right. With that said, we're going to get into the press conference uh, that they put out a little while ago. It's not too long. Uh, Yuma doesn't do a lot of these press conferences, so um, it should be fairly succinct and to the point. But uh, let's see what's going on. Let's see what's going on. All right, good afternoon. Um, you know, it's a, it's a sad day that I have to be out here. Um, with everything going on in today's world, nobody thought that this would occur here in Yuma. But on Saturday, Saturday morning, at late Friday night, Saturday morning, there was a shooting over at South J. Edwards Drive in which um, seven individuals were shot, two which did not survive. We can identify the two individuals, one being a 20-year-old uh, Andre Black Thunder, and the second one being a 19-year-old Danny Garcia. Um, of the seven, two victims were flown to Phoenix Hospital and are in stable condition as we, as we know today. The other three were treated at release at different uh, various medical facilities. Um, we can confirm that this was a house party that was going on and that all individuals involved in this are known to each other. Um, we have recovered several weapons at the scene. That's kind of the key point there that apparently all the right wing media missed when they're trying to push this as something to do with immigration or Title 42. This is a house party of teenagers who all knew each other. 
Um, we are doing forensic evidence to test those weapons. We have found that we know that over 30 rounds were fired during this. Um, and we do have investigative leads that we're following up on it at this time. Uh, we can't confirm any suspects at this time because of those investigative leads. Um, one thing that I would like to do is I'd like to thank some off-duty law enforcement officers who were in the area at the time, heard the shots, and immediately responded and rendered aid to the victims and also tried to help secure the scene. There was also a nurse that was off-duty that assisted in rendering medical aid to them. Um, the biggest thing is I, I wanna, want the general public to understand that this was not a random event. It was everyone knew each other. One. There was a party that got out of hand and things happen. Do you have any questions? Can't go? Do this to clear out stuck poop fast. Okay, that's quite the fucking... What's up with all these shit commercials on YouTube? Is anybody else noticing in this? There's a bunch of commercials about shitting, cleaning out your shit, all kinds of shit. I don't, I don't get it. It's weird. No questions? Oh. Yeah, there's a quick one. That's... Oh, okay. Um, I guess, is the homeowner going to be held responsible for the incident? So the homeowners were actually out of town, um, and it was a relative that had a party there. As soon as they were contacted, they immediately responded back and have been assisting law enforcement since then. Okay. Was it, do you, so it was a relative of the homeowner? Correct. Was it their child? that we can't confirm right now because we are still doing the investigation. Okay. Chief, are yes, you sir. still enlisting the help from the community for people that might have video or any information leading to further investigative resources? Yes, if anyone does have a, a video, please call, contact our 78 crime. If they have any information of where they, what they might have saw that night, please call 78 crime or, or come down here to the station. and. We're Speaking of videos about it, because it was at a teenage house party, there is a plethora of video on it. It is disturbing. I don't know if it's out online, but my daughter showed me some of it on Snapchat. Um, horrible, horrible pictures. Horrible pictures. We want to talk to everyone because we want to make sure that we get the people that are responsible for this and hold them responsible for such a heinous act. And I know some people think the three individuals who were booked late that night are in connection with this crime. Has anyone been booked yet? The, are you talking about three individuals that were arrested later in the night? Yes that right now we cannot confirm whether they're related or not. Uh, there's a, on a separate case that was uh, miles away from where this happened. Okay. So you guys are still looking for this? We are yeah, that's one local speculation they were making because the same night that the shooting happened, they also reported that three men, um, three young males were arrested, some facing gun charges. So everybody was speculating that these were the three people involved in the shooting. But well, why wouldn't they just tell us that they arrested them in connection with the shooting instead of saying that they arrested them, you know, for, for something different? So he kind of didn't make it clear there either way, because at first he kind of made it seem like, no, it was completely different events. Um, then he backtracked a little bit and said they kind of sounded like they might be tied together. So that was weird. We are still doing investigative leads on, on who they are. Like I said, everyone's known to each other. Is there any information thus far about what caused the events to transpire? So we're, we understand that there might have been an altercation inside the party. Um, based upon that altercation, uh, it's, it, the kids pulled out guns and started shooting at each other. Is anyone going to be held responsible Again, that's part of the investigation that, that we are, that's ongoing. No other questions? How many kids were said to be at the party? Uh, there, it varies, but we've had stories of up to 100. It started out as a small party, and based on some social media postings, more people came than were expected. Uh, 
Uh, we can't go into that right now just because we have to test to make sure the firearms that were on the scene were the ones that were used and that we take the forensic evidence and compare those bullet casings to the guns. We saw some commentary on social media about a noise complaint being called in prior and that a response was not made sooner. Okay, so that night, it was a Friday night, there was a lot of parties going on in, in, throughout the Yuma community with all the graduations and stuff. So yes, there was a call about 50, the 55 minutes beforehand, but they were, the officers were also all tied up on other calls for service. There was no indication that, this, that there was any type of violence or anything going on, which would have made it a priority one call at that point. Yeah, that's another thing. People were trying to uh, talk shit about the local police, saying, well, somebody called the cops 45 minutes before the shooting, and if the cops would have responded, there would have been no shooting, blah, 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 blah. But what they're not telling you is somebody called in a noise complaint for a house party. They didn't say people were arguing. They didn't say there was fighting, that there was... They called in a noise complaint for a house party on a graduation weekend. There was a thousand house parties. The cops can't go shut them all up. The party was Saturday night. I'm sorry. I keep saying Friday night. It's Saturday night, and I apologize. I, I correct myself. That is from our understanding, yes. Okay. I spend 20 minutes each day on it for six weeks, and you won't believe my results. $69. Are What's the current condition of the injured people that were released? The three were released um, by Sunday morning. Three were released. Two were flown to the Phoenix Hospital. The, they are in stable condition. And then we have two deceased. Again, that's part of the investigation that's ongoing right now. And to give out any of the I have seen that video. It is horrible. Right it does exist. It is the child. They were released, correct. When? Um, early Sunday morning. Well, there are two deceased, correct? There are two deceased. 20-year-old, uh, uh, Mr. Thunder, 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 Thunderbolt and 19-year-old uh, Mr. Lopez. And the one in Phoenix is stable now? Huh? Black Thunder. Oh, excuse me, Black Thunder. Uh, the patient in Phoenix is stable now? Yeah, they're, they're, they are both stable in stable condition. Okay. What was the 20-year-old's name? Uh, that would be, again, I'll, I'll correct it. Let me make sure I have that right. Andre Black Thunder. And the 19-year-old is Danny Garcia. I don't know any local Black Thunders. I definitely know a lot of local Garcias. So hopefully, um, hopefully not a kid of anybody I know. That would be horrible. No other questions? Again, I thank you for your... I'm oh, sorry, really quick. I'm responding to some of the questions sure. here. Did you know I, 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 I keep the hate to say that, but it's still part of the investigation because we have to look at all the different motives that, that might have caused this. That's a dumb question. It's a house party of teenagers. They weren't drinking fucking Kool-Aid and playing solitaire. It was people were at the party that the shooting occurred at. Yes. So that's where somebody will post a, a social media post that we're having a party at this address and come one, come all. And a lot of times, which is a dangerous situation because you don't know who's gonna come. And then you have a bunch of groups where you thought might have been a 10 to 15 person gathering, turns out to be 100, 150, 200. And the person at the address can't control that.
right now we're looking at all motives and that's you know one of the motives that we're looking at we're looking at that it was over the fight we're looking over that they may have been intoxicated there's a uh, hundred different reasons why but that's part of the investigation anecdotal story we had the same similar thing kind of happen like three day hours down from our house we live in a cul-de-sac and uh the corner house down there they were having a party um and uh we heard shots go off um so obviously went outside and the fucking kids were fleeing everywhere just running everywhere um we were out there with a gun i think the neighbor across the street had a gun the neighbor across the street and over had a gun uh so we were all out we don't have the kind of neighborhood you want to be messing around in um but uh i don't think anybody was actually shot at that event just uh the gun was fired um but it looks like the same type of situation um house party teenagers get into a conflict they start fighting and either the guy losing the fight or a friend of the guy losing the fight pulls out a gun somebody else pulls out a gun um and uh it can escalate very quickly can def definitely escalate very quickly. Could the homeowner uh, face any charges at all? Right now, that's part of the investigation. Also, this, uh, who transported the individual to the hospital? So we have a, a mixture of both the fire department, but also some of them were transported by friends that were at the party that were taken to the hospital and, and transported that way. Um, we have located those friends and and they are they are being interviewed okay. good thank you all very much i appreciate it All right, so that's a little local news report on what's going on in Yuma, Arizona. Unfortunately, we did have a shooting occur over the weekend at a house party for young adults. Uh, but to reiterate, this did have nothing to do with illegal immigration or Title 42 or any nonsense like that. So if you see mainstream media trying to push the shooting down in the Yuma area as something to do with immigration, they are yanking your chain. They are definitely pulling your leg. It has, um, it has nothing to do with immigration. Very sad, unfortunate scenario, but also not something that's that... Um, That is that uh, uncommon for house parties to get out of hand and stuff to pop off. Now, do we normally have seven people shot with two dead? Definitely not. Definitely not. But crazy, crazy scenario. Uh, but yeah, Yuma's a pretty small town, so when something like this happens, that's why my, um, that's why I seen some of the Snapchat footage and videos that were going around of the party. Um, I have two young adult children, um, so, you know, they're, they're in the mix, uh, with these kids, uh, in town, um, to a certain extent. Obviously none of my kids were at the house party. Um, but they were able to see the. Uh, were able to see the Snapchat videos after the fact. Which is horrible. I'm actually thinking about the video right now. And I wish my wife would have never shown it to me. Obviously, honestly. Because. Um, very sad image. Very sad image. I think the one kid who died was. I don't know, 17 or something ridiculous like that. Definitely way too young. Definitely way too young. 
Well, shout out everybody new on the live. We are going to continue. If you're just tapping into this for the one specific video, I appreciate you. Links are down in the description if you want to help support the channel. You can shop McClures.com. That's the website I created to sell quality American products so we can help with um, American companies and supporting this country. So if you shop McClures.com, helps me out, helps out American-made stuff and keeps the channel going and growing and, and all that good stuff.